Well, what is up, y'all? I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead, and you're watching another episode of Tower Crane Tuesday, which I do every Tuesday. And uh, it's all about crane education. It's a little bit of this, a little bit about that, tower cranes, mobile cranes, the crane industry in general. But before I start, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really helps the channel immensely. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So as you can see by the thumbnail, it's tower cranes versus mobile crane. Now this is not going to be a lifting war to see who could lift the most or anything kind of like that. Uh, this is specifically going to be about pros and cons. Now as far as pros and cons, we're going to start off with the tower crane. Now the tower crane, the pros. The pros are the fact that uh, I know where I go to work every day. Uh, the pay scale is very good. Um, I know what my commute is. I know what my hours are, at least for the most part. I know what days I'm going to be working, how long I'm going to be working. Um, on the job site, I get to know uh, and build relationships with the guys, the men and the women on the ground, as far as the uh, ones on the radio. Um, and uh, you get to see ultimately a very, very large project because tower cranes are specifically working with bigger projects. Uh, you get to see your work after it's all done. And let's don't forget the view. Now I can honestly say that the view is probably one of, one of my most favorite things about this job. Now, there's probably a few more things that I could mention, but we're gonna go on to the cons of tower crane. Ooh, <coughs> excuse me. I think number one is that uh, the stress that is involved in this job. Now, a lot of people don't realize that. They may think, oh, you know, they sit up in a, in a tower crane all day, they're sitting on their butt all day, and uh, even guys down on the job site actually think that, that all we're doing is picking stuff up and putting it down, picking it up and putting it down. But it's amazingly stressful, amazingly and emotionally stressful. Um, it's also very physically stressful because it's not entirely healthy to sit down all day long. But where the mental stress comes in is that, and I've mentioned this before in my other videos, my number one responsibility every single day is to do my job as safely and efficiently as possible without killing anybody. Now, I know that it's easier said than comprehended. I know you guys probably thought I was gonna say easier said than done, but no, easier said than comprehended. But the fact is, is that that's a very, that's my number one responsibility. Um, and it takes a lot of talent. It takes a lot of, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here, but it takes a lot of talent and patience and uh, um, coordination to be able to swing this crane around and make that hook, hook block go exactly where I need it to go without swinging all over the place. And, and then on top of it, adding a load onto it and, you know, and making it safe. So that's going to be number one is the stress level. Uh, number two is you see this little cabin that I sit in. I sit in it all day long. If you would like to, uh, to experience that, um, let me think. Go sit in a porta potty, or go actually uh, stand in your closet for 10 to 12 hours a day. Don't move; just stay in there. And uh, yes, there is the potential of claustrophobia. Um, yes, I'm keeping myself active, but at the same time, I'm stuck in a little box all day, which is why a lot of people have coined that term for me, the sky hermit. I just sit up here all day long, and I. Uh, that can get very stressful. It's uh, um, there. There's pros to it, but there's cons to it. Um, it can be very taxing on your back. Um, it can be very taxing on your mental health. Um, another thing is that in concerns, in a, like a comparison between tower cranes and mobile cranes, uh, mobile cranes, um, for the most part, it really depends on the job, but uh, unless you're like flying steel or you're doing something like that where there's a, you know, there's, you're, you're staying pretty busy, you're doing a lot of picks a day. Tower cranes, um, for the most part, the very beginning of the job and the very ending of the job, not talking about the day, but the beginning of the project to the end of the project is fairly slow, but 
as soon as it ramps up at the very beginning, picks all day long, every day, all day long, every day, all day long, every day. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, that's your job. But the fact is, is that add the stress into trying to control this crane in the safest way possible and then doing, you know, 50 to 150 picks a day. Um, I know it's, again, people minimize it and think all I'm doing is picking stuff up and putting it back down. There is a stress level that goes beyond uh, any explanation that I could give you that you wouldn't have real world experience with that you would understand what I'm talking about. And by the end of the day, I am mentally exhausted, like mentally exhausted. And uh, sometimes that's even worse than physically exhausted. Um, but I know that there's probably a couple more things, but I'm gonna move on to mobile crane. Now, pros to mobile crane, amazingly cool experience, just like a tower crane. Um, but completely different because a mobile crane, um, you get to travel a lot. Um, you get to learn all of the aspects and consideration to how to build a crane, how to dismantle a crane, how to operate a crane, how to mob the crane. Um, you're traveling to different places. Um, there, I mean, as far as the experience and the people that you get to meet, it's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Um, but it's also very stressful. Uh, as far as uh, more pros, I would think that uh, just the ability of not being stuck on, because with the tower, you I mean you're stuck on one job and that could be a good thing, but it, it wears on you over time. With a mobile crane, you're, be, you're able to travel all the time. Um, now, whether it's one or two days or a couple days on a job site, or it's just one day, or maybe it's just a couple hours on a job site and you break down, and you go to another job site, I think that that's exciting. It's uh, it's something that keeps you busy. It keeps uh, your bot body in uh, physically good health because you're running around, you're throwing out uh, crane or um, outrigger mats, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're swinging jib, all those things I find very, very exciting. And then you get down to operating and again, you get to meet cool people. Another thing about cool or cool about mobile cranes is that not a lot of people um, that are not in the crane industry get to be around a crane or get to really see a crane. So when one shows up on the job site, and again, depending on what size it is, um, people get pretty excited, and it's uh, they want stickers, and uh, you know they want to talk or they want to come look at the crane. It's an amazingly impressive piece of equipment. And um, those are those are the pros, or at least some of the pros that I find about mobile crane. The downsides uh, are in consideration to travel, which is a positive. Uh, if you're a family man, family woman, or you have a family, or you got kids at home, or wife, or husband at home, um, this traveling can be very detrimental. The reason why is because you're constantly out of town depending on what kind of uh, uh, crane rental you do. Um, yeah, you're constantly traveling, you're constantly on the road, you're in different states. Uh, when I was in Mo Mobile, uh, I right when with Seattle, Maximum had moved to Seattle, uh, I was um, the 90 ton operator and I was, I was the only operator at the very beginning and they were sending me to, you know, I would go down to jobs for, or go down to Oregon for jobs Washington, Eastern Washington, Western Washington, Northern Washington, I'd go over to Idaho and I would be gone for sometimes, you know, a week or so plus uh, at a time. And um, it was cool. I mean, Regina came to visit a lot and uh, that was super awesome. Um, but it's, again, it's very taxing being out of town all the time. Um, so that, I think that that could be a pro and a con. Um, it is very, very labor intensive. Uh, in consideration to setting up and breaking down the crane, especially when it comes to swing and jib and all the different things that you need to remember. And again, this all comes down to both uh, tower and mobile in consideration to all the stress that you go through and all the things that you need to go through to make sure that every single pin, every keeper, every everything, every sheave, every everything is where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. And it's, I mean, it's checks and double checks and triple checks and having somebody walk behind and check and 
Um, though, again, I think that that could be a pro, it's also a con because it's very, very stressful. Um, and uh, those, I'm, I'm gonna limit the, I'm gonna stop it at there. Um, and uh, the reason why is because these are my personal experiences. I love both tower and mobile. I find amazing enjoyment out of both of them. Um, now, excuse me, one specific question that I've been asked, this is, this is a good one. I've been asked quite a few times, which do I believe is harder? Now, that's gonna really depend on what they mean by which tower or mobile is harder. In consideration to learning how to operate um, or uh, the tests on becoming certified to get your certification, tower is going to be easier. Mobile is a lot more complicated because there's small and large hydraulic um, and those are two tests and then there's your core at the very beginning and uh, there's a lot more going on with a mobile crane than there is a tower crane. The tower crane is already set up for me. Now I'm part of the build and the dismantle, but that's only two times. The rest of the time I just climb up here, get in it, start it up, go to work. As far as a mobile, um, there are pre-trip and post-trip uh, inspections. There's the complete setting up. It's going onto a job site and, and not knowing exactly what that job site is going to entail. Um, worrying about not only the crane itself, but all the underground, whether there's underground utilities, underground vaults, whether the ground conditions are safe, um, and the list goes on, on and on and on. Um, whether you're gonna have enough space to swing jib, whether you're gonna have enough this, enough that, whether you're gonna be within your radius to lift a certain uh, object off of a certain object. Um, there are so many things that mobile entail but again, that can be very cool, but it's very taxing. So in consideration to what I think is uh, harder, I'm gonna say mobile crane. Um, I still love it. I still love doing it. I love the challenge, um, but that's pretty much where that, that lies. But again, uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you're new or if you have questions about anything and concerns to cranes, please let me know in the comments and I, recently saw on YouTube how you can respond through a short video, which is 60 seconds. So hopefully get some good questions and I will got, I will answer you guys through a short video. And uh, nah, I'm gonna leave it at that, but uh, until next Tuesday or until uh, we do our next video on Fox Holler Homestead, I got nothing but love, nothing but blessings for all y'all. And I send nothing but uh, love and blessings to all you and your families and I, uh, yeah, until next time, I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. You're watching Tower Crane Tuesday. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.